Hello everybody, in this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at limit and aliasing. Limit is just going to specify how many rows you want in your output. If we take this table, for example, if we come right here and we say limit, let's do three. If we run this, it's only going to take the top three that we have. Let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, we have employee one, three, and four, Leslie, Tom, and April. Now this seems super straightforward, really, really easy, but it can be combined with order by to actually be really powerful. For example, let's say we wanted to take the three oldest employees. All we'd have to do is come right under here and we say order by, and we'll order by the age in descending order. So we're gonna order on age descending, and then it's gonna take the top three. So if we run this, and very quickly, we have the top three oldest people in this table. Now there is one additional parameter that we can use in limit and all we have to do to access it is have a comma here. Now what this is going to do, and I'll put a one here, what this is going to do is it's now going to say, we're going to start at position three and then we're going to go one row after it. Now I actually want to take one of these people. So let's start at position two and select the next one after it, which should be Leslie Nope. So we're going to start at position two and we're going to select the one right after it. So we're going to start at position two and then one means we're taking the next one row. Let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we got Leslie Nope in our output. Now let's come right down here. We are going to now look at aliasing. Now aliasing is just a way to change the name of the column for the most part. And it can also be used in joins, but we're going to take a look at joins or aliasing joins in the intermediate series. In a previous lesson, we looked at a group by that looked like this. We selected gender, and we said from, I believe it was employee underscore demographics. Then we said group by gender, and we also had the average, and I think it was age. There we go. And we'll add our semicolon. Let's go ahead and run this. In our output, we have gender as our gender column, the same as the column name, but then Average age is average age. And so if we want to actually do something like a having, where we say having the average age, let's say greater than 40, like we had it, we have to actually use this aggregate function in our having clause. And we don't want to always have to do that. We can actually change the name of this column and subsequently use it throughout our query with that alias name. So I'm going to say as, and that's the keyword to actually change it. We'll say as, and we'll do average underscore age. So now we've changed this name to average underscore age, and we can come down here to having and say having the average age greater than 40. And when we run this, it works perfectly. And you'll notice that the name of the column was actually changed. Now this as isn't actually 100% needed. It's kind of implied, even if we get rid of it, it's implied there's like this as in there somewhere. Um, but we don't have to have it. If we took it out and ran it like this, it would still work exactly the same. So that is how we can use limit and aliasing in SQL. And congratulations, this is the end of the beginner series in MySQL. In the intermediate series, we're gonna take a look at things like joins, unions, case statements, subqueries, and window functions.